Good evening everyone, welcome to Community Connect. Um, tonight we're going to be having a little look at YouTube. Uh, we have a guest presenter, Chris Smith, and um, we're going to be having a little bit of a play and sharing. Now we, are, I'm hoping everyone can hear me still, I feel like I'm talking to myself at the moment. Um, but I'd like to first thank Steve Hargaden for allowing us to use this, use this room. He provides it to the Australia series and we're lucky enough to have this room. Um, I'm Ness Crouch, I'm a leader of pedagogy, a classroom teacher. I'm a bit of an IT enthusiast and I love learning. Um, with us tonight we have Chris Smith, the world renowned um, IT specialist who goes around sharing his knowledge with everyone. So Chris, you might like to say a little bit about yourself. Uh, hello boys and girls and the thousands and thousands of people who will be listening to the recordings. Uh, my name is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb and uh, I'm here in Chiang Mai which is North Thailand and uh, my uh, what I do is uh, it's mainly ed tech and mainly teacher training and at conferences, invitations to schools, running workshops, and having a great time practicing lifelong learning. That's enough on me. Thanks, Chris. So we might just quickly go around the room and introduce ourselves. AJ, would you like to go first? Sorry, you put me with a mouthful of coffee. Hi, so I'm AJ, I'm a teacher in Adelaide, South Australia and I've been participating in Community Connect webinars, learning about various uh, web tools and uh, using online learning pedagogy to um, just reach out and connect with people and help people's learning. And I'm a team presenter sometimes but tonight I'm just going to be a participant and listener. Great, thanks AJ. Um, Simon, would you like to step forward and say a few things? Not a worry at all. My name's Simon Pankhurst. I'm a classroom teacher, high school teacher in North Queensland and I'm also a bit of an ed tech enthusiast. I love uh, checking out the new tools and ideas uh, surrounding education and technology and how to use them effectively in a classroom. Fantastic. Thanks, Simon. Now, Pamela, you weren't sure if you have audio? Uh -huh. Have you given it a go? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm Pam. Yep, we can yep. hear, yep, we can hear Hi. you. Hi, I'm Pam Prattley from Perth. Um, I teach pottery and I know virtually nothing about computers, so I'm hoping to become a bit more savvy about these things. <laughs> and thanks to AJ for inviting me. Well, thank you very much for coming, Pamela. It was great. It's great that you can be here, and I'm sure you'll learn plenty from us. Um, now, Shingo, I saw before you said you didn't have any voice today, so uh, Shingo is a regular with us. He's a teacher, a high school teacher from Melbourne, I think, from memory, um, teaching Japanese and languages. Did I get that right, Shingo? Excellent. Thanks. Um, so hopefully we'll have a few more people join us as, as we go, but um, as always we are recording, so this link, the recording link will be available uh, as soon as we can get it to you and you can um, share it with your friends that way. Okay, so quickly, where are we from? Uh, if you look to your left, there's a little pointer, Pamela, um, I'm just trying to point at it now for you so you can see it. Choose a little icon and show us where you're from. Oh, because we're all hearing. hearing. <laughs> the icon. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's gone to the wrong place. I don't know where the icon is, but I'm in Perth anyway, just outside it. <laughs> well, it looks like the coffee cup's close to Perth. Come to Adelaide. <laughs> oh, it's a camera. It's <laughs> a camera. Right there. 
Excellent. And we can see Shingo up here. Oh, not Shingo. Shingo down in Melbourne, AJ in um, South Australia, Simon in Northern Queensland, and Chris, or Shambles as we call him here, um, in Thailand. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so, tonight, YouTube. I'm sure we've all used it. I'm sure we use it for many different things. But I'd just like to get a bit of an idea of how um, the people that are here right now have used it in the past and are using it currently. Uh, I tend to use YouTube mainly for my, my classroom. Um, in teaching a year three, four class, it's really, 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 really easy to show them a video to help them with their understandings. So I tend to um, use it mainly as an introduction and sometimes to help consolidate ideas. But with my position as a leader of pedagogy this year, I've also been using it a lot more to help with teacher education. So that's been really useful. Oh wow, who, who learned to crochet and orig do origami using YouTube? I'd like to hear about that. Uh, and I'm guessing Shingo, you're the one typing about the Japanese resources. Yeah, I agree. When I was living in Japan, it helped me a little bit with learning some Japanese. So it was fantastic. Uh, AJ, you're the crocheter. Oh, I remember you saying something about that. Excellent. I'm just checking here some of the other other ones. Someone saying both educational and entertainment. Yeah. Oh, you're published, AJ, for crocheting or origami. I hope you YouTubed it. <laughs> oh wow! Well, you must you must YouTube it and show us send us the link so we can check it out. Um, okay, so we all know what YouTube is. It's a it's a it's a, sh a sharing tool for sharing videos. Um, there's a couple of new features that I really like about it that have made my life and classroom function a lot easier. In particular, it's the playlists, um, the suggestions based, the suggestions in the what to watch um, based on your recent activity, and also the people that you've chosen to follow with um, an update of if they've released any new um, any new videos recently, and I really enjoy. Um, checking that out because there's some great people there that I follow who are constantly releasing new little clips and videos and, th and they're always good to help with um, particularly at the moment um, educating teachers. Uh, has anyone had a chance to check out this feature or is using this feature? No one wants to talk? No, haven't AJ, I'm surprised. It is. It is, yeah, it is a time thing, but you know what? It's saving me time, now I can do this. <laughs> um, now Chris would actually like to share with us a few changes as well in the upload process, which I'm curious to see because I don't upload very much at the moment, but I'm hoping to do a little bit more with my students in the next semester. Uh, okay, yeah, I can. I was just reading Shingo. Yeah, I can see you doing that, Shingo. That's why I also have a, a school account as well as a private account. Um, and yeah, if you could come and show us the uh, shambles, if you could come and show us the new upload, that would be fantastic. So we can have a look at that and see how it works. Okay, how how's my voice? One to out of, out of one to ten, where ten is really good and one is you can't hear me. I can hear you perfectly. Shambles, probably ten. Great. I'm actually working working on my um, I'm working on my desktop. Where's that? Where's that echo? There's an echo coming from somewhere. Is anybody else hearing an echo? Yeah, I can hear an echo. Um, you're twice as as verbal as usual. Uh, you just re you just signed in again. Did you change computers? Did you? Oh wait up. No, there's two of you. There's Shambles Desktop and Shambles Thailand. 
Um, currently talking through Shambles desktop, so maybe your Mac has signed in. But the talk is switched off on the Mac. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, where's that coming from? Maybe I just closed the Mac. Okay. That's gone. Yeah, I think you were right. It was um, my Mac. Oh, it's still there. Is everybody else getting an echo or just me? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not hearing it well. It's coming. It's me, so uh, I, I can keep. I can keep going. So, so I'm going to go and uh, and make and make my audio go down. Okay, let me share my uh, desktop. Let me share my Google Chrome browser. In chat, can you give a smiley face? or something if you can see my browser hello okay great uh, let's put that out of the way and let's put that there this is you, you prepare stuff and then uh, and then the machine you prepared it on goes down so we'll, we'll see how this goes now this is the interface for uh, the home page for uh, YouTube and I suspect some people watching this either either some of us here live or in the recordings will will know this especially if they're looking in a year's time um, what is interesting about this is if you've got the old setup when you log on now the people who have the old setup and I know this happened with me this morning with somebody I was working with um, they had the the old design and they got a pop-up saying um, would you like to change the new design and the reason that YouTube are trying to get everybody to change to the new design is they want to make it so that this new design also looks good on mobile devices uh, so so it's advisable to change because it looks much better than the old one did on uh, tablets and mobile phones the uh, the other thing about this is that at the top here they want you to create an image to go in the in the header of your of your uh, account of your page and um, which will also fit on other devices uh, and because of that they actually give you some strange sizes and this isn't the size and there's a template let me just see if I can find that template and put it in chat um, because I have it I have it in my uh, Dropbox. Let me just copy and paste this. Uh, Control C and coming over to chat. Control. Oh, well, that doesn't look like it's working. Try again. Chats. No, it's not working. Well, for some reason, this is going to be a good time. I will, I will put it into chat when I'm not talking. I'll, I'll dig it out and put it into chat because it, they give you a template so that you can uh, uh, design a header here for so it's suitable for all devices. So it's worth changing. The other thing that's here is they give you an opportunity in, on your page to do a small video which is an introduction to um, your video channel um, actually, let me just give a give a into chat put my uh, put my channel into chat now this is not compulsory but it's a good idea if you can make a small video which is an introduction to what this channel is about and, and if you're interested, this channel was made with something called uh, Video Scribe. And if you come to my channel and click on here, then you will uh, go to the to the website where you can make things like this. This is actually um, like the whiteboards where people are writing on them. And if you try it, you'll see it. But I'm not going to run it now. 
and down here you have a choice of these bars here and see this one on the top is recent uploads and if I edit I can move this up and down these are the popular videos on my website on my YouTube channel you see my popular the most viewed video I have is called Tractor Stuck in the Mud and it's had 66,000 views uh, another one here which is Marching Bands in Thailand which has had 58,000 views and a Thai boxer which has had uh, nearly 60,000 views um, interesting my, my most viewed screencast is how to make a QR code using Google which has had 57,000 I have, a, I have 400 and odd videos here but I'm not going to go through those you can see recent activities and all this is customizable um, so I just wanted to raise the reason, raise awareness of the reason why you two were changing this front design. And before I hand back, I'm going to start the upload of a video. Now I took a video in my garden just before this with my iPhone. And from the iPhone, if you save the video to the photo stream, then one of the options on your iPhone or your iPad is that you can just export directly to YouTube but I didn't do that on my iPhone and my iPad I have it set up so that anything that goes into the photo stream on those iOS devices automatically ups to, uploads to Dropbox does anybody else use that facility? I'm watching chat anybody else have things go directly to yeah, no. I, it, it's worth it because it's also your still photographs. Um, now I know that Apple save things in the cloud, but sometimes I'm not sure where they are in the cloud on Apple. So every video and every picture I take actually automatically automatically goes to a Dropbox folder, um, and I know they're all there. So it's almost a backup of of what's in the cloud on Apple. So I took a video on my iPhone this morning in the garden, and then I. Uh, I um, just let it upload to Dropbox because now I'm working on my desktop machine on a different machine. I love I love Dropbox because of that synchronization across them. And all I want to do now is I'm going to upload that to here. So I'm going to click on upload at the top here. This is probably going to be a bit slow, but you can see it's a very clean window now. And here it simply says select files to upload or drag and drop video files so I could drag it but I'm not I'm going to select it so select files to upload I'm going to go to Dropbox and the folder that Dropbox creates when it's uploading from iOS devices is called camera uploads so I'm just going to go to there I'm hoping you're seeing this because it's outside of the browser you may not even be seeing it and uh, oh brilliant that's good you can see it now you can see here's the video that I took it's uh, in its date stamped it's a .mov file which is more or less the same as an mp4 file so I'm going to click that and I'm going to open that and as soon as you do that it starts downloading and it says sorry uploading it's uploading now two minutes left but I want to go through the things that it asks you there's going to be two more minutes because I'm not going to fill them in now you can put a title here actually I will do that shambles guru garden it's just a 30 second video I took in the garden so you'll be able to see my garden um, a description well I will put a description there eventually but for now I'm just going to copy and paste the title into there tags well tags if you're a librarian keywords we, we all know tags um, and quite often I don't know whether it's best to put a hash sign tag a hash sign in front of the tag shambles guru or whether comma or whether to just put the word itself so quite often what I do is I put both and it's comma in between them so lots of lots of uh, tags there AJ uh, oh I see what you're looking at here you're going at what the upload is well bearing in mind I'm doing a lot of other stuff on this machine so I suspect uh, that's why and, and we'll look at the end of the session on what happens this one I want to mention really important this one private privacy settings there are three settings here 
when it's completely public, one, I think, uh, when it's completely public, which most of my videos are, but not all, some of them are unlisted, which means they're public, but nobody will find out by accident what the URL is. So you can have it so that Google won't pick it up, it won't go in your playlists in your channel, but it is available to people if you give them the URL. And actually, you may have noticed that even though this has started uploading now up here, uh, it's already telling me here what the URL what the URL is going to be. So that's the that's going to be. So it's telling me that already, which which I I'm quite impressed with it. So when it's uploaded, that's where it will be available. So you have public, you have unlisted, which is really good for privacy. You can put kids' videos there, but the public don't see them. They have to, you have to know what the uh, uh, unlisted. You have to know what the URL is, and then completely private, so nobody can see them. Only you can see them if you've signed in with your address, uh, with your account. Um, you can share them. We have categories down here. Not a great number of categories. I sometimes struggle deciding what it's going to be. And the only other things I want to show you is it's, this says basic info. And we've got advanced settings. Video location. Well, if you took the video in Thailand, I could put Thailand there. Actually, let me sh show that. If I put Chiang Mai and my postal code 50100, it will actually, I bet you hear my clicking, Chiang Mai, sometimes I have to put Thailand. Okay, one more time. Chiang Mai, Thailand, 50100. There we go. Actually, I'm not, it's slightly out, so I can drag that. I live there. Now you know where I live. And it's put longitude and latitude, which is probably a learning opportunity for kids. You can put the date, so I just click on today. And the only other, th well, these others you can read through themselves, allow comments. I guess if it's, sometimes it's good not to have comments. My Thai boxing one, I have comments there, but I get a lot of profanities in that. Uh, can people vote on comments? You've got all of these there. Um, uh, allow embedding. Let's look at licensing here. There are two types of licensing when you're uploading to YouTube. One is uh, a Creative Commons attribution, which is the one I have it defaulted at, and the other one is the standard YouTube license. I think the standard YouTube license actually says you can't download, or you shouldn't download. So I always choose Creative Commons attribution, uh, unless it is something that's private and not allowed in which case I might even make it private so it can't be downloaded. Because one of these options is can allow to download or not allow to download. Um, but every video you can see, you can download it, even if they don't want you to. And we can come back to that later. So I think what I'll do next is hand it back to you now, because this is still uploading. And then when uh, uh, later on we can just come back, because there's one other thing I'd like to show that will come up after it's downloaded. So Ness, I'm going to uh, uh, just stop sharing, stop sharing, and give it back to you. And then uh, okay, also, thanks, uh, uh, I can come back in again later as well. Sure, no problem. That would be great. Uh, always a wealth of knowledge there, Shambles. Um, so what I'd just like to share, I'm going to do a, a desktop share as well, is just to look through this, the newest features. I, I know these features have been around for a little while, but I've only really just found the time to play around with them. And it's nice to see that, Simon, you actually have access to this at school, because usually you don't get that. Um, but Shingo, it's a little bit disappointing that your school doesn't allow um, YouTube particularly considering the, the benefits it does have for education. Um, okay, so I'm going to do an app share with you. Um, so I'm hoping that you can all 
start to see my my screen. Uh, now, what I want to show you, just going to lower that, is how you actually add to a um, to a playlist. Um, now, can I just get a thumbs up or something to show me that you can see my desktop, uh, my desktop before I go any further? Okay, it's coming up slowly. Um, okay, I'll go slowly then. Okay, so we all know how to search, I'm assuming. I've chosen uh, changing states of matter because that's what we're studying in science at the moment and I want to consolidate some learning on solids, liquids and gases. Um, so I've found this video which I've watched already once but I thought I'd just play it through again. To add it to something you just click on the add to. What pops up below now Uh, hopefully, it's it's not going too slowly. Um, it's, I'm just going to move some things around here. Um, you hopefully you can now see my um, options for my playlists. Uh, with the playlist, basically, once you click Add to, you click the playlist you want to add it to, and what appears is a little message saying it's been added to that playlist. Um, it's quite a simple process. Uh, you have a choice when you're creating playlists, uh, adding it to a playlist, you can add a little note if you want uh, about the video. Uh, if you need to create a new playlist, simply down the bottom here, you can see enter new playlist name. So I might enter one we are also studying Colonial Australia, and this will <laughs> you can you have a choice here to make it as Shambles just said, public, unlisted, or private. Uh, same options as making your videos private, um, unlisted, or public, uh, and you simply create the playlist. Now this will actually add the states of matter video, this one here, to my playlist. Um, yeah, it's it's really useful for bookmarking, AJ. This is why I'm really impressed with this at the moment. So if I click on my States of Matter playlist, I just added it again. Whoops. Um, if I go back to my my um, my playlist, sorry, which are up here, you can see some I've favorited, and I, the the playlist I just created. And also my playlist showing uh, states of matter. So if I click on that playlist, the states of matter, we will learn something here. It will actually start playing each one of the videos I've bookmarked, basically, in order from the beginning. Um, we certainly don't always need the the advertisements, but uh, they still come up, sadly. <laughs> um, if you want to watch one of the videos but not the other videos, you just simply click on the video you'd like to start watching and it, it comes up instantly. I, oh great, that's a great link, um, Shambles, thank you very much. What I have done with this at my school is I've created a school channel and what we are doing there is we are uploading useful um, videos and links to different um, to different channels that are easily accessible for the students and the teachers that can be embedded within our um, our learning management system platform that can be embedded into blogs that can be embedded into all sorts of things and can be used as a link to help children with homework and so on. Oh, oh thanks. Well, that's interesting. Um, Shambles, that 
comment about clicking on the ad so that they can get money. That's fantastic. I'll remember that. Um, so you can see here at, uh, in our school uh, site, we've got some on drugs for the safety unit that one teacher is teaching. We're a Catholic school, so Pentecost has just been. And we found a couple of videos there to share. Uh, another, the stage three class is learning about rainforests. Uh, down here you've got stage two learning about colonial Australia. And very shortly I'm going to be uploading some uh, student created videos. We've got some very creative filmmakers at our school. So uh, my principal is just uh, editing and checking quality of these videos so that we can upload them so the children can share them with other people uh, and of course we need to get permission from parents as well. So does anyone have any questions about these new features before I scoot out of um, the app share that I might be able to explain for you? No questions? Or am I just missing them? I think um, I think for me the the best feature of these channels, particularly for schools and educators and anyone in general, is that you can gather together a whole wealth of very good, high quality um, videos in one place that you don't have to go back searching for, you don't have to bookmark each one, they can all be put in one place and organised effectively into into playlists or channels and you can share them with the world which is for me a, a godsend because the biggest thing I get told by teachers um, is, is that I don't have time to spend looking for all of these things. Um, Okay, that would be great, Shambles. Um, the teachers are saying, I don't have time to find all these resources. And I'm saying, you find an excellent video or a good video that you like on YouTube and we can add it to our school channel and we can keep it there forever. And they've gone, oh, well that's really good. That way I don't have to go and find it in two years time if I'm teaching the same, same topic again. Um, for me, that's certainly a bonus. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing now, go back to our plane. Yeah, Shingo, that's, a, that's not a bad idea either, but um, I'd, be, I'd be needing a whole new computer just to download all the videos I've looked at over time. Uh, yeah, AJ, it is fantastic. I think that, I'm not, but, uh, uh, Shambles might be able to fill us in on some of the reasons why they've taken this um, this step towards allowing users to do that sort of thing. Um, I think it's fantastic though. It's it's made it so much easier to use, so much more easier uh, user friendly, and particularly as an educator, um, it just saves so much time. <laughs> um, Yeah, if you've downloaded it, uh, yep, go for it, Shambles. Um, Shingo, I think if you've downloaded it um, to your computer, I think you still have to attribute um, the Creative Commons type thing to people. So you do need to make sure that you're telling people where you got the, the, the video from. But as long as you're doing that, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so Shambles, when you're ready. Go for it. Okay. Well, I've got the echo again. How weird. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna turn the sound down so I won't be able to hear it, but I'll watch chat. Okay. I'm gonna go through an awful lot in the next five minutes. I'm just gonna go through it rapid fire. So it's uploaded now. And the thing that's here which wasn't here before, and if I if you lose my voice or you can't see anything, throw it in chat. Um, uh, so it's uploaded, the, the video, and the address is here, 
which I've already put into chat earlier on, so you could actually go and look at it now. But don't do that yet. You can see my garden, which I think is a great garden, all due to my wife. Um, down here, though, there are the video thumbnails, and that's good and bad in that as the sort of publicity front still, um, you can only choose these. It always chooses the middle one, but you can choose one of these other ones. I'll leave it on the middle one because there's some fish there in the pond. Um, yeah, you can't choose any other except those three. It's restricting. So with a bit of luck, you can choose whichever one you want. And you can click on that. Actually, let me just choose another one just so you see what happens. And down the bottom here, it says Save Changes. But it actually auto-saves normally. I didn't click then, and it's auto-saved. So anything you type here in this is nearly always uh, auto-saved. They're a bit cheeky, YouTube. They come up with these messages, which basically are saying, uh, excuse me, but if you did this to the video before you uploaded it, you'd get a better quality. Because I this came through iOS. So you can just read those. It also comes up with messages here saying, uh, excuse me, Mr. Shambles, but uh, your video looks a bit shaky. And if you'd like, we will make it not shake so much. Just click this button. It's it's amazing what you've got there to to do it, uh, to, to affect your video. And within YouTube, you can edit your video, you can cut it, you can shorten it, you can take the end off, you can add sound, you can add overlay hyperlinks that pop up at certain places. I'll come back to that in a minute. I want to go uh, back to my channel, which is top right hand corner. You can see my avatar uh, avic uh, uh, picture there. And here I've got my channel. So if I click on there, it actually goes to my channel. And hopefully my video should now be there. And here it is. It's here now. Seven minutes ago and nobody's seen it. But I want to go to the playlist in a different way. And I think playlists, I agree entirely with, with Ness, Play playlists are brilliant. Of course, you need an account. Uh, and, uh, oh, and also, the other thing is subscriptions. I follow all these people here. And if you go to their account, you'll see there's a follow button. And it means when they upload a new video, I automatically get a notification through email. Um, so I, I'm following new, t new teachers' videos. But I want to go to playlists. And another way to get to playlists, top right hand corner, my channel, video manager. So let me click on video manager. And you can see the, the layout that's here. And this is the video I just uploaded. Uh, <laughs> There's a cheeky button there which says improve this video. Um, I'll let you play with it. I'm not going to play with it. But there's all sorts of things you can you can do there. It's just amazing. It's got an amazing editor in here, which is still a well-kept secret, I think, for many people. Remember, only you can edit it if you signed on with your account. Uh, and there's an interesting account which YouTube has set up where it encourages schools to use them. And I'll come back to that in a second. So here my those are my uploads. If I go to my playlists, this is another way to get to the playlists. You can see playlists are there, and I think I have 303 playlists. Um, and you can see the types: creativity, information and data, video scribe, pages, which is tutorials on the pages word processor in Apple all about Google Drive, health and safety, new teachers. And I'm sure it will grow more because it means as long as I'm logged in, any video I see on YouTube, just like Ness showed us, there's a drop-down menu that says Add to my playlist. And there are lots of them here. And you can edit them. I'm not going to do that. Sometimes videos die. Edit, editing them here allows you to take old videos out. It allows you to change the order of the videos in the playlist. Um, and one thing you can do is you can have them listed by the latest or alphabetical. Here they all are. Look at this. Native Americans, Mighty Bell, Circuses, Pinterest, Mobile Accessories, Questions and Questioning, Thailand Education, Maths on Mobile. 330. You don't start this and do this in a day. 
you do this now forever and you start it forever okay so that's that I'm, look, I'm keeping an eye on chat to see if there are any suggestions <laughs> well actually I'm not very because I gave you a good example I started a new area on oh let me choose one of these I started a new area on uh, these are all playlists I started a new area on shambles on questioning so I started a new a new playlist called questioning um, but let me just go into this here's creativity here so I that was the last playlist I created called creativity and if I click on that and you can do it you can also do this from my front page but if you notice there's a share here and it says share or embed the playlist so this is really amazing if you find somebody who's done a playlist on American North American I want to say Indians we're not supposed to say that are we Native Americans then you can go to the playlist you do it from the person's front page click on share and here's the URL to share and if you want to embed it then you can embed it there's the embedding uh, code and you can make it different widths this one is 560 640 by 360 or for shambles actually mine is 480 wide and it automatically does the height guys and girls I'm going really fast now so I'm watching chat as well so I can copy this now if YouTube is blocked in your school you can come here take this playlist throw it in your blog or create a blog for Native American Indians or in this case it's creativity create a blog and just put that in there and all of the playlist will, will go into your blog in one place um, so so that's how you do that of course you can email it to people as well you can vote on it up there if I vote on this then I'm, I'm not sure what it does physically I'm going to move on I'm going to move on very quickly through these and I'll put all these URLs into uh, into chat as well I really am going to nest I know you want it back in the microphone back and I will be quick I have an area on shambles called everything YouTube which is this area here and I'm not going to touch any, I'm not going to touch th these in detail because there's so much for instance here's a link of how you can display a YouTube video to your class without any of the advertising or the rubbish around it and there are several of these and so you want to be able to show it easily um, actually I've discovered last week somebody had done a wonderful curation on Learnist I know I know you some of you know I'm a Scoopist fanboy but Learnist is a really great curation site which I'm really warming to and somebody had done a brilliant collection of YouTube tools for teachers so you just click on here and you go to here you scroll down um, there are lots of them how to turn a YouTube channel into a subscriber or podcast there's a trends map um, lots of stuff here European channels uh, a YouTube permission sheet for parents to sign which might be very useful um, there's so many here there's so much you can see um, 12 useful YouTube accessories for teachers and students you're going to have to wait for the summer holidays to deal with all this, I'm sure. I'm going to move on. A year ago, when the flipped classroom became uh, uh, into the limelight, uh, yeah, I do, Ness. I'm a big Scoopit fan still, but Learnist is, I'm warming to that, actually, strangely enough. Um, when the flipped classroom came along, and I'm a real flipped classroom fan, I, I think, but with reservations, I think their preface is good, and, the, and, and their aim is, how can we use the time in classrooms with students how can we make that time richer more productive and I've loved that as a start I am not a fan of teachers making you videos I must admit I'm not a fan of that to be honest I'm a fan of kids making videos but now there are lots of tools which enable them not just to make their video but to take YouTube videos and do things with them and we can have a whole podcast on any one of these in this list which is just so so powerful in other words if you take a YouTube video you can add 
text on the top of it as it go as the video plays a text will pop up and there can be a URL in that text and um, you can add annotations there's several here where you can turn you can create a classroom lesson around the video uh, and some of them you even embed the video into somebody else's website which gets through that blocking ask three is brilliant because that enables you to share a video and do annotations over it and share it to mobile devices and you see there's loads of them here Teachem is one Teachem is one where you take a YouTube video you can put flashcards to it and, and create something which lives in their website there's actually a, a, a oh god the time's going there's a YouTube uh, webinar there you can add quizzes to videos so you can see a video and you can create quizzes or better still you can get the kids to create videos I'm not going to go through all those sorry let's move on here's the trends map you can find out what's trending in your state unfortunately it doesn't work anywhere else in the world yet but they say it's going to uh, these are other places to find video online I think that's very important don't just rely on YouTube there's lots of places to find video online uh, uh, here's another one a scoop a scoop it I'll put all these in the video in the chat in a minute I'm just going to go through them quickly this is another one of my favorite sites of finding videos you're going to recognize a lot of these this is another one Nomia teacher tube if YouTube is blocked teacher tube kids tube if YouTube is blocked try, try kids tube teachers teaching teachers is an area where there's videos of teachers teaching or the flip video tools have done already dot sub I want to mention dot sub for any language teacher tell this to your language teachers oh Japanese any Japanese teachers here I wonder Japanese language teachers um, dot sub allows you to take a YouTube video and put subtitles in any language now I said you what I really want to say is students what a great homework for students I want you to I want the class to take this video and I want you to do a translation in Japanese and you to do one in French you to do one in English you to do one in North American English I'm joking um, these are the YouTube apps on my iPad and I'm just putting them there so you can do a screenshot and you can see this is the main app YouTube but all these others do weird and wonderful things and that's what I got here downloading videos lots of ways to download videos teachers all around the world are downloading them earlier on somebody typed I'd like to download them so I don't rely on the internet I couldn't agree more download them all and if I say what's the most what's the site that anybody uses and I bet I can guess it if you're already downloading videos which site are you using if you could put it into chat oh. Uh, oh. oh really is that mess is that a is that a, a browser plugin uh, yeah and it's also completely downloadable to your desktop as well I have it on my desktop okay so let me move I on because I want to give it back yeah, to you grab it I there. expected you to all type this one in I expected you because <laughs> Every time I ask a teacher which website are you using to download videos, then he'd always say, Keep Vid. And, ah, oh, Simon, sorry, I just saw yours there. Great, Keep Vid. But if you're showing this to colleagues, be careful. That green button saying Download Now and Watch Now, there are adverts. The number of times I see teachers clicking on those and then they get weird stuff being downloaded. Don't do that. Don't click on those at all all you do is you put the URL of your video in here press download and it will give you a list of formats to download you can even download just the audio if you just like the audio you can down you can just download that and no I'm not going to mention I want I was going to talk about YouTube education and YouTube school there are two channels there's one which is YouTube dot dot com education I really advise you uh, investigate that because that's YouTube has put all their effort into finding school friendly 
uh, YouTubes and categorizing them into the levels. First of all, your age levels and then the other levels. And then the last one, I'm so sorry, Ness. You probably, you want to kick me, I'm sure. Uh, uh, YouTube, YouTube, or even YouBoob, YouTube.com slash school. YouTube slash school. YouTube slash school is an area that YouTube has created, which they're not. They say don't log on with your personal account. YouTube dot school allows you to create a school account so that different people, like other colleagues, you could have a you could have a, a, a channel here for your school or for your department or for the elementary or the year fives or whatever so that the teachers could each add onto that so the thing is not to log on to this channel that's that's why they've designed this I can be I'm so sorry Ness I'm going to give you the microphone now stop sharing see Campbell this is why we invite you because you're just such a wealth of knowledge it's fantastic absolutely fantastic I've my eyes have been opened and it's I didn't know about the, the YouTube school, so um, I might have to look into that for our school channel because that way the teachers can, can upload independently, which would be fantastic. So thank you very much for all that. And I think AJ's right. We might have to do another session later in the year and you can share a little bit more of those amazing tools you just flicked through uh, with us. So we look forward to seeing um, those URLs when you've got a chance. Um, excellent, great. Thanks for putting those in shambles. Um, so we've we've almost run out of time, but if anyone would like to put up any of their favourite um, contributors to YouTube or some of your favourite videos, AJ shared her her um, favourite crochet person before, which is fascinating. I had a little look. Um, I I tend to not have favourites. I tend to look really, really uh, carefully at what's available. So AJ, you've got a question? Yeah, not a question so much as a comment, but um, as a teacher, of course, um, I'm always on lookout for what makes for good instruction. and so like you, I don't have a lot of favourites or a lot of subscriptions. I might favourite certain videos for certain purposes, you know, depending on my subjects and what I'm teaching. But as for, for subscribing, I have far less of those. So really, and I look for the leaders in, in their field and in their skills. So I've got, you know, one of the leaders in origami, he does stuff that just makes my jaw hit the floor. and. Um, the crochet, there are quite a, quite a few people doing these types of video tutorials, but um, the reason why I chose this particular lady was that her instructional style and the thought that went into the tutorial videos, it was clear that she learnt very quickly what was needed to create a good instructional video, not just, hey, look at me, I can do this, and you should be able to do it too. So you know whether she's teacher trained or not, she's obviously got a good ability to understand how to impart the knowledge and the skill to other people. There's others out there, of course, but this was the one that really worked for me, and mostly because I'm left-handed, and so I needed a video that that understood the the needs of the left-handed person, and it wasn't just a video that had been somehow flipped. Yeah, so that's why I picked that one. And so I think, you know, as teachers, we're looking for those sorts of things as well. The other thing, if you are a teacher, that I did stumble upon was um, Teacher Channel, which um, often will have a short video clip of a teacher in the classroom and, and watch her practice or, or his practice at whatever it is that he's teaching. And then after that, there's some reflection time. So, you know, instead of the heavily theory based teaching that we often get about, you know, what our teaching practice should look like and the things that we should be doing in our classrooms. Um, it, it's very practical based because you can see it in action and you can see real people in real situations then reflecting on that practice and, and being realistic. So 
Um, yeah, I've got a lot out of that one as well. I think it's teachingchannel.com. I'll pop into my link in a minute and um, put it back in, in the chat. Thanks, AJ. Yeah, I think it might be teachingchannel.com. It's one that I found recently as well. And yes, it's American-ish, but it's quality examples of teaching practice. So uh, I don't think it matters where it comes from as long as it's quality. And you are right. Um, it might be the people presenting on YouTube may have no educational um, no educational background whatsoever, but they're good at explaining something or they're good at knowing content and, and sharing that. And I think that's the key, being able to find um, content that supports what you're looking for, whether that be a classroom situation, an adult education situation, or personal learning, as long as what is being shared with you is valuable and clear and makes sense, I think it's a valuable, um, a fantastic resource. And uh, Shambles, I, as you can see, I've posted all of those little links on, on the page there just so that we've got it in a couple of places. And thank you once again, um, Shambles, for coming along and sharing your huge amount of knowledge. I'm constantly amazed at what you have hidden in your web page. And I sometimes start looking through your your website and I don't get lost, but I just go, wow, there's so much out there that I don't know about. What am I doing? <laughs> so um, thank you very, very much. Uh, does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask before we finish up tonight? Any questions of Shambles or myself? Um, because I've I'm not haven't always been a fan of YouTube, but because of the new features that are now now available, I'm certainly um, more excited about it, and I'm really excited about that schools um, part of YouTube. Uh, that might be even more useful to me than what I'm currently doing. So, any more questions or comments? Okay, well, I might uh, thank you all for coming and the recording will be available very shortly. Uh, as long as it's emailed to us, we can get it up fairly quickly on our uh, page. Uh, if you'd like to contact myself <laughs> or Chris, I've put in um, my Twitter and my email and I've put in Chris's um, Twitter and web address. Hopefully I got that right. I didn't actually check it. <laughs> um, and yes, we will look at your garden video shambles very soon. So thank you very much everyone for coming and uh, a special thank you again to um, Steve Hargaden for letting us use this room and thank you to those people who are listening. Have a great night everyone.